All right, so this is just a quick video to show you how to use uh, OBS to do uh, screen captures of your lectures or whatever you want to record. Um, OBS is a free open source software. Um, just go to obsproject.com and download it. OBS stands for Open Broadcasting Software. Um, and uh, and so that's, uh, that's the software. And once you install it, uh, you open it up here, it's going to look like this. And the scenes will be empty. And so the first thing you're going to need to do is create a new scene. Uh, we'll just leave it at a default there. You could call it whatever you want. And now we have to add the screen that we want to capture. So uh, the source I want to add is my display. Okay, so I'm going to add a display capture here. Um, you can call it whatever you want. So display, and uh, we'll click OK. All right, and so I have it set to display one. I have three different displays running right now, so I could pick any of them to record, but I'm going to record the one uh, right in front of me. Uh, and then you'll see it'll populate here. Uh, you can change the size of it depending on how you want it. Like if you have a 4K screen, you may need to scale it down or do something like that. Um, and one thing just to check is your settings to make sure uh, your output settings are how you want. So um, our canvas is 1920 by 1080 uh, and our output, we're gonna keep that full HD resolution. Um, and I wanna record at 30 frames per second. You potentially could do slower frames uh, to save file size uh, for lecture. Um, if you're just doing a PowerPoint or something. All right, and then uh, for output, you want to make sure you know uh, once you click stop recording where it's going to put that file. So I have mine uh, put in my video lectures folder. You can, you know, click browse and navigate to wherever you want that to go. I keep mine in high quality medium file size. Uh, the file size are pretty small actually uh, from the software MP4 format X264 uh, encoder. Okay. All right, so now we're essentially ready to start recording. We just also want to make sure that we uh, turn on or off our desktop audio if we wanted to record the audio stream coming through our PC. Um, I want that off. Uh, and then, of course, recording our microphone. Um, and depending on your microphone setup, you may need to go specify that. So you can click the gear icon, go to properties, and I'm having it record through my studio mic, um, but I could pick any of these mics, and I'll show you that in a minute. All right. So I'm going to stop my current screen capture and start recording within OBS directly. All right, so now you can see um, I'm in OBS recording uh, using OBS. And once you click start recording, um, you can pause if you need to go do something or burp or do something else, move your mic around. Um, and then when you click pause, it'll highlight it. And then you have to just click it again, and then it will go dark gray, and then it's recording live again. Um, I kind of wish that was a little bit more clear, but that's uh, what you have to pay attention to. And then once you're done recording and you hit stop recording, then it's going to save the file. Um, so if you want to keep it all in one file, you know, don't click stop recording until you're actually done to done with whatever you're recording. All right. So uh, if you want to add a webcam so people can see you when you're talking, uh, that's just another source that you have to add. So you, within your scene, come over to sources, and now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go video capture device, and I'm going to add that. So... All right, so I'm going to add my webcam. All right, so here's my webcam shows up here. Uh, you might have, uh, it show, mine's a Sparkle Cam. You'll probably have some other one. You can play with these to get it to look how you want it to. I'm going to leave it at the defaults here and click OK. All right, so you can drag this wherever you want in your scene. I usually keep a space in the bottom right hand corner of my PowerPoints empty so that I can uh, put myself there. Um, and so you can, of course, scale it to whatever size you want. Um, I usually leave myself about this big. And then uh, I've got these black bars for whatever reason, uh, and I want to get rid of those. So you can do a number of things here. I'm going to right click on this and then go to transform and edit transform. And I'm just going to crop the top and bottom by about 30 pixels. Uh, all right. And you can look and see how that's affecting it here. Um, and so you can play with it, you know, to get it exactly right. Okay. Close that. So that looks good. And you can see that I'm actually, I have a green screen lit up behind me. Um, so uh, I'll show you how to cue that out in one second. One other thing is that right now it looks like I'm looking off uh, screen. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to right click on this transform and I'm going to flip horizontal so that it looks like I'm looking you know, at my content. All right. And to get the green screen to key out, uh, I can just right click on here and I have to add a filter. OK, so I'm going to go into my filters and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a chroma key. All right, and then uh, I want this to be green screen, and I can play with the similarity, you know, to get that out so that I don't have a green halo. Uh, so about right there looks good, and then I want to smooth it a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. And, you know, I can adjust the contrast and uh, those types of things as well. All right, so I'm going to close that. 
So now you can see I'm just recording myself right here uh, in the bottom corner. And so if I uh, now go into my PowerPoint and maximize it, um, I can record, you know, whatever I need to record. And so I can like bring up my pen tool here and, you know, if I'm highlighting stuff or draw pictures, do a white screen, draw some stuff, just always keep in mind that um, I'm occupying, you know, the bottom right corner here. So uh, this PowerPoint isn't optimized for recording yet. Uh, so I have stuff in the bottom right that's going to get covered up. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention here um, is how to change audio sources. So uh, if you want to use a different audio source, um, and just to show you for a comparison, um, I'm going to put on my uh, headset. So sometimes I actually record lectures with this. Um, and now that I've got this on, I'm going to come up uh, here and go to properties. And then I want to change it from my studio mic uh, over to my uh, headset. And so I'm going to move this up and out of the way now. And you can see that this is kind of loud. It's it's showing red and speaking. So uh, it's going to sound bad. So I just want to make sure that this is a bit quieter. Um, in my headset, I can actually manipulate it uh, directly, but it doesn't seem to be impacting here. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to go down here to my audio panel, click sounds. And then once that comes up, I'm going to come over to recording, go to my microphone, go to properties, go to levels, and I'm going to have to drop that down. Uh, until it looks like my I'm metering metering here in a normal range, so that looks good. Uh, so this is about where I want to record uh, for decent audio quality. Um, other things to keep in mind, you know, if you're using a mic uh, and you're getting background noise, you might just need to plug it into some USB connector. This is a wireless headset, so it's going to sound a little bit better. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in in the comments or uh, let me know.